everyone. Um, hi. <laughs> uh, for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do two things in one. <laughs> um, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to do a glassy text like this. You see how nice and pretty it is? Okay, it's a glass effect on text. And the second is the glass effect with um, the sticker effect on text. Um, as you can see, it has the same glassy thing, except it has the little white border making it look kind of like a sticker. <laughs> Looks really cute. I know a lot of people um, like that and want to learn how to make it. So here's the tutorial for it. Um, first thing you want to do is open a new canvas. I'm using 400 by 200 resolution, 200 um, on a raster background, um, color depth. I'm using RGB8 and I want it transparent so you're going to click on transparent background so click OK once you have your canvas open go ahead and click on your text tool which is the little A with um, the square inside the square um, pick your font I'm going to be using Carnival Valley Freak Show um, you can search this font it's free you can search it on Google and find it. Um, you can also just go to defont.com or fontcube.com, which I think is where I got it. Um, I'm still not sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can get it there. Um, size 40. Uh, font style, I don't really use any of that. I align it to the center. Um, make sure anti-alias sharp. I'm using a stroke of 1. And make sure it's create as vector. Um, line style, I'm using solid. And I don't really touch any of that other stuff. Okay, so pick your color. Um, this is your foreground or your background color. The foreground is the stroke or the outline of the text, and the background is the fill of the text. Okay, so I picked pink and dark gray. All right, once you have your colors picked, go ahead and click inside your canvas and type out whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and type spread notion. which I'm going to have to resize, I think. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and resize it a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, once you have your text typed out, go ahead up to Effects, go to 3D Effects, and we're going to add an inner bevel. Okay, so go ahead and click on that. Make sure that your settings are as follows. You want your bevel to be in two number two, the second one, which looks kind of like a quarter of a circle. Your width 10, smoothness 25, depth 5, ambience negative 27, shininess 35, angle 135, intensity 35, and elevation 60. You want your color to be white. Okay, and as you can see here, there's a preview window. You have your before and your after. Okay, so then just click OK. And you have your bevel text. Next, you want to go down to effects, I mean up to effects. Go down to where it says plugins and go to your iCandy 4000 plugin. Or you probably have iCandy 5 Impact. Um, I'm going to be using the iCandy 4000 because it's the most common. Um, and go ahead up to glass. Okay, once this opens, you want to set your settings to bevel width 10, uh, smoothness 75, um, bevel placement inside, edge darkening 3, gradient shading 0, refraction 50, opacity 0, tinting 40, and glass color white. Okay, then press OK. And you're going to have your glassy text. So. Once you have your glassy text, you want to go up to effect. If you're going to just leave it glassy, go to effect, 3D effects, and add a drop shadow if you want. And this is what it's going to look like with um, with a drop shadow, which I'm not going to add it on. Okay. To get the sticker effect, you do all of that, and you're going to go up to effect, plugins, then go to your eye candy. Um, 4000 go to gradient glow now there's other ways of um, getting this look 
Um, this is the easiest way by far. So um, these are your settings. Glow with three, you can do bigger. You know, three I use it. It's the standard. You know, smallest size. Soft corners I do 25. Overall opacity 100. And draw only outside selection, which is very important because if it's not checked, it's gonna color everything white. Then you're gonna go over to color and pick your color. Um, for the sticker effect, I use white. Okay. Make sure that you have these two little things here. Because if you take this one out, then it's not going to really be a sticker effect. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So then you click OK. And there you go. You have your sticker effect. Now just go up to Effects, 3D Effects, and Drop Shadow. Oops. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay. That was the other tutorial I was recording. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, so you go up to Effects, 3D Effects, and then Drop Shadow. Okay, I'm doing, uh, for Sticker Effect, I use 1 and negative 1, Opacity 80, Blur 5, and Color Black. And there you have it. You have your Sticker Effect. Now, the other way to achieve this effect would be to go, after you have the glass and your bevel and everything, go to selection select all then selections float selections again deflow then go to selections modify expand and expand by I'm gonna go ahead and expand by three yeah let's do three press OK then you're gonna I already have uh, another raster layer here so you can go ahead and hide the top layer click on the little eye to hide it and you should see the little marching ants like this go ahead to your um, flood fill tool and click on that and choose white as a color or whatever color you want to put and make sure that you have the empty raster layer um, highlighted like I do here and then flood fill okay see how it's all white then you're going to unhide the top layer go up to selections and select none then you want to click on the top layer and go to merge and merge visible then go up to effects 3d effects inner bevel I mean oh my god <laughs> effects 3d effects and then drop shadow and add your drop shadow and there you go this is the other way um, to do the sticker effect I like to use a gradient glow because you know it's easier but if you don't have eye candy and you don't know where to get it um, for free anyway you can do it this way um, so yeah that's about it <laughs> so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out um, have a nice day